My goodness, you just caught me. I was like catching the whiff of what's cooking over uh, here. It's okay. so yummy. There's yeah, nothing like a good life. holiday party. Agree? Sure. Uh, but it's a lot of work. A lot of times we have uh, Puesto's Chef Martin is here to help us. Chef, good morning. Thanks morning, for being bro. here again. How are you doing? Uh, what, what are the, before we even, what is that? Because it that, smells so good. That's our chilaquila sauce. I'm just oh, making sure it gets oh nice and God. thick. Get all those aromas out there. All right, before we get to the chilaquila, tell yeah. me, uh, any advice for holiday entertaining? I said, you know, sometimes you have more people than you're used to in the house yeah. and it's just overwhelming, a lot of stress. What can you tell people to help them I think you should out? definitely prep a day ahead of time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that way you're not really nervous the day of and you can really get ahead. Um, one That's thing pretty you good. can definitely start cooking a day ahead of time would be your braises. You can cook something slow right. in the oven with a little liquid in there and That's just let good it advice. slow cook. Yeah. Prepare a day or two, whatever you can get exactly. ready, so you don't do it all in one day. What's a family favorite? Share with us, perhaps, well, in your home. Being from Puebla, my favorite thing is mole. So oh. we definitely try to get a mole plate in at every holiday party that. that we have. Love that. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this morning, what are we making? And kind of gave it away because I, I messed it up because I had to. <laughs> that sauce was so good. Uh, chilaquiles. Explain to people who don't know what that is. What is chilaquiles? Well, chilaquiles, pretty in essence, is just a fried tortilla with a homemade salsa. You can toss it and you can top it with a lot of different ingredients. Today we're going to be topping it with the braise that we made earlier this morning, uh, some chicken braise. Oh, nice. Yeah. Are there any rules? I mean, is there like a classic chilaquila that we're supposed to know or you can kind of make it your own or what's usually the, the classic? You can definitely make it your own, but sure. the most classic ones are the salsa verde and salsa oh. roja. Oh my yeah, God. Definitely. Salsa de todos salsa los de colores. Todos los colores. Eh? You know what I'm yeah. <laughs> uh, at Puesto, obviously, you guys got your own spin on it. Kind of give me a little yeah. play by play. Take me through what we're doing here. Now that looks like chips. See, anybody yes. didn't know they were, that looked like it could have been chips. It's not. It's not. We're it's, frying them up fresh. Yes, sir. Now. That's what really makes us different from all places that we do yeah, everything buddy. fresh and daily. Let's go. Definitely. But we do press our tortilla. Copy that. We, we fold it out. Okay. We make the shape. Then we cut up a little triangles and we, we fry them up the next day. Uh, the tortilla is better for frying when okay. it's a little older. A, a little day older? Old is perfect. And then you make the classic, that's the secret to making those chips, right? Yeah, but okay. you can definitely go to the store and just buy them. It's not a yeah. big deal. I was going to say, you're not expecting people yeah. to sit there and fry and no. make their own chips. That's, that's no. like next level stuff, chef. Of course, but what I do recommend is making yeah. the fresh salsa daily. The salsa that, must that, be, There's yes. no compromise yes. on that. Okay. okay, so what so, went into that, by the way? Like, what do you put? Is we it got spicy? all the stuff it? right here. We're going to make it right now. Ooh, Tomatoes. Nice. Jalapeno, serranos, some garlic, onion, nor powder, and some salt. What is nor powder? Is nor that? powder, that's the secret Mexican seasoning. Oh, we put in a lot of our like, different no, you're ingredients. You're trying to drop that nor powder thing you get yeah. away with that without me like, what? Nor powder. So what we're going to do is we're going to boil <laughs> like, these know. ingredients. I don't need to go skiing up north. Uh, hey, yeah, that's yeah, a nor powder. I don't, I don't want to be in the way. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> and we're just going to blend them. Okay, so yeah. we're putting that in the uh, good old wine mix yeah. in there. Okay, how many of those? Man, that's spicy. Uh, just as spicy as you want it. Bro, you that's make a it lot. your own, you know? Uh, tomatoes. <laughs> Christy's looking at me like garlic. <laughs> I just, I'm realizing I'm sitting a little too close to the window. <laughs> You'll be fine. No spice. All right, spice, here we so. go. We got some onions in yeah, there. Yeah, some onions, tomatoes. I mean, that's as fresh as it gets, yes, right? Sir. I mean, holy basil? moly. What's that? What's that? Was that basil? Uh, no, epazote. That is a Mexican herb. Kinda it's epazote. Que pasó? a while but yeah, okay. at the end we end up frying it with a little olive oil right here perfect so you blend it yes sir you fry it with a little olive oil and oh this is our God. end product Can right you smell here that? yeah it's amazing oh. so once we have our chips nice and fried we're gonna put some of them in a mixing bowl oh my gosh chef where were you like two hours ago <laughs> <laughs> It'll be brunch see now. what I was eating. It was terrible. <laughs> We're going to add some of our pickled onions for I a little acidity. Onions. Yeah, they're delicious. Me too. Some of right. our sauce. There goes the sauce. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then we're going to grab some chicken that we grabbed from braising over here. Here comes the chicken. This is where you save a lot of time, making sure you just oh, yes. make an earlier braise. I like it. The some kitchen chicken. It's important to have the proper, uh, what do you call that in the restaurant world? Where, uh, mise en place. Like the flow. So That's like the flow. The sous chef has to know where to move out of the way when the chef is going <laughs> this way. And you go left and you go right. Exactly. Like an art form. So we shred up okay, our chicken. there's the chicken. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, we chef. dump it in there. Yes. 
It, it's, I mean, Chrissy is like, I don't think I've back. ever seen her this <laughs> enthralled by a little making... queso fresco. You just, it just, you make it look so easy. While you're finishing that up, can you Sir? also do that and tell us about, like, if you want Puesto to help out with your entertaining, you guys are available for that, yeah? Yes, sir. You can definitely come to any of our restaurants and try some of our new menu items. They're really delicious. We got turkey mole and a ceviche amarillo. And then, if not, you can Ooh. order our burrito boxes if you don't feel like going out of your house. Oh man, I've had that burrito yeah. box. That's some, something tasty, boy, I tell you. So we're gonna toss it. And the drinks, hold on, look at that. <laughs> Chrissy, come on, let's go to lunch. Add some more <laughs> chicken. You just want the drink. <laughs> Ooh, the dessert. Look at that. Oh, stop it, chef. Some more oh, sauce. here we go. Look at this. Look Ooh, at that. It's like a lasagna. Pour on the salsa. Oh, yes. And then what makes us really different at Puesto is we that go. we like to put Parmigiano Reggiano yes. on our chilaquiles. Yes, That's yes. the trick. A good amount, making sure to get all that creaminess in there. Chrissy, you want to try? Um, yes, I would love to. Yeah? Thank you. Okay. Here we go. A little cheese on it. A lot a of cheese. A little Romano makes everything better. Well, of course it does. And you then know, top it with some oh, more crema. Yes. Ooh, is that for one person? <laughs> uh, this is definitely for one person. Oh, or to share. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, Miss Risa, wait, how do I get there? Thank you. Go. There we go. Got you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Over, there we go. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I already want to look. Okay. Yeah, you got it? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Can I put some guac on it? Ah, uh, yeah, like definitely. It? You can build your own enchiladas. Okay, well, well, all the information, Puesto, go check oh them out. Fox5SanDiego.com. Chef Martin, thank you as always. Enjoy. Once I put this in, I can't talk. We'll be back. Lovely.